So you're thinking about living in Northport, Michigan? Well, here I'll answer 10 of the most frequently asked questions from people who are considering buying a personal residence, vacation home, or investment property in the Northport area. At the very end of the video, I'll link to some recent homes for sale in Northport so you can check out what the latest housing stock that's available if you're considering making a move sooner rather than later. But whether you're looking now or a year from now, reach out to me, I'm happy to help. All right, frequently asked question number one. What is the population in general demographic of Northport? Northport is a small village with a population of about 525 residents. It is known for its friendly, close-knit community and picturesque setting at the very northern tip of the Leelanau Peninsula. The population of the greater Northport area, which would include all of Leelanau Township, is a little over 2,000 people. Number two, what are the housing options in Northport? Housing options in Northport range from historic homes and charming cottages to modern lakefront properties. Opportunities for condo living are very limited, but that could change in the coming years as there are some development plans on the horizon. The real estate market includes both primary residences and vacation homes with a variety of price points to accommodate different budgets. The median price in the village of Northport for this past year was about 450,000, whereas the median price for Leelanau Township, which would also include the village of Northport, was around $625,000. One point to keep in mind when thinking about that is that when you get outside of the village of Northport into Leelanau Township there's a 10 acre minimum that comes with the home so you're buying more land and so that's the reason for the price difference there all right number three what schools are available in Northport? It's, it's just one, it's Northport Public School, serves the area, providing education for kindergarten through 12th grade. The school is known for its small class sizes and strong community involvement, offering a supportive learning environment for all children. I am a proud Northport graduate, Northport Wildcat, as well as my bride, Shannon. All right, number four. What recreational activities or opportunities are available in Northport? Northport offers numerous recreational activities such as boating, fishing, hiking, golfing, pickleball, tennis, outdoor basketball, skateboarding, sport shooting, and beach combing. Notable spots include the Northport Creek Golf Course, Northport Village Marina Boat Launch, Northport Village Beaches, the David H. Warren Memorial Pool and Fitness Center, Buster Dame Recreational Field, Bremen Hill Recreational Area, Peterson Park, the Northport Trail System, Leelanau State Park, Leelanau Conservancy Trails, Christmas Cove Beach, and of course, the historic Grand Travers Lighthouse Museum. Check out my podcast, by the way, with Stephanie Staley and a lighthouse keeper to learn all about the Grand Travers Lighthouse Museum. The Northport area also features several wineries and orchards. You're gonna to wanna to check out Northport. For more details related to various recreational opportunities around Northport, be sure to follow my YouTube playlist entitled Living in Northport, Michigan. Number five, what amenities are available in Northport? The village has essential amenities, including a bona fide grocery store in Tom's Food Market, several restaurants, a healthcare facility in the Northport Highlands. Popular dining spots include the New Bohemian and the Northport Pub and Grill. The Northport Village Marina and downtown shops add to the convenience and charm of the area. Number six, how is the community life in Northport? Northport boasts a vibrant community life with yearly events such as Leelanau Uncaged, the antique car show down at Hazard Park in the Village Marina, the Northport Dog Parade, and the Northport Sportsman's Club offers two yearly events. One is the ever popular fish derby at the Mill Pond, and the second is a benefit shoot at the shooting range at Brayman Hill Recreational Area. Also, another yearly activity is organized by my son Sawyer, 
who puts on the Bay to Bremen Bolt, a foot race from the Northport Marina to on top of Bremen Hill. And it is a challenging event. You're gonna wanna check it out. Every Friday during the summertime, there is music in the park at the Village Marina Pavilion. And every week, the weekly farmer's market on Friday in the marina parking lot. The village is also known for its welcoming atmosphere and active local engagement in community events. The Northport Performing Arts Center and Northport Arts Association offer residents rich cultural opportunities as well. To learn more about all the opportunities and events in Northport, check out the Northport Omina calendar. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Number seven. What is the cost of living in Northport? The cost of living in Northport is relatively higher than the national average, primarily due to housing costs. However, the high quality of life, scenic beauty, and very low crime make it an attractive place to live or to own a vacation home. Number eight, what healthcare facilities are available in Northport? Northport Medical Clinic is recently closed, but there is some healthcare offered in the senior living options that are available at the Northport Highlands, which provides assisted living services. Munson Medical Center in Traverse City isn't too far away and there are some clinics in Sutton's Bay as well. Number nine, are there any notable historic sites in Northport? Yes, Northport is home to several historical sites, including, as I mentioned before, the Grand Traverse Lighthouse Museum, the Woolsey Airport Terminal, and historic downtown buildings. The area has a rich maritime history that is well preserved and celebrated by the local community. Number 10, what is the climate like in Northport? Northport experiences the four distinct seasons with warm summers and cold snowy winters. The fall season is particularly beautiful with its vibrant foliage and spring offers mild temperatures and blooming landscapes, especially with those cherry blossoms. What other questions do you have about Northport? Leave your questions in the comments section and I will answer them. I'm here to help you learn all there is to know about living in Northport, Michigan. Thanks for tuning in.